好，同学们 ，Welcome to a journey to China, Chinese One. 欢迎到中国之旅第一册。我是于博士。It's good to see you today. Have you noticed that when we begin a lesson, you can see items on my desk? One of the item is a Mao Bi. It's a writing brush used in Chinese calligraphy. In this new chapter of lessons, you'll learn to identify objects like this Mao Bi and talk about who owns them. You'll also learn about the art of Chinese calligraphy. Our main objective today is to use the question word "what" to identify objects. So we will review conversations from previous lessons, learn the names of some objects we use at school, and learn to ask questions: "What is this? What is that? And do you know?" Let's get started and review the dialogues and sentences you should know and understand. In lesson one. You begin your journey in learning to speak Chinese with three basic phrases. They were, "Ni hao," "Hello," "Wo shi," "I am," and "Zai jian," "Goodbye." Say these sentences with me. "Ni hao," "Wo shi," "Zai jian," "Hen hao." In lesson two, you learn to say the formal form of "Hello," "Ni hao." Then you greeted your classroom teacher by saying hello and using their family name and title, 老师 Repeat these sentences after me. 您好，您好，老师。Lesson three brought you the word "men." Men is a plural word that's associated with human beings. When you add men to a pronoun or noun associated with people, you get the plural form of the word. You learn the words 同学 meaning fellow student or classmate, and 同学们 meaning fellow students, classmates, and class. In our dialogue, you role-played the parts of teacher and students. You greeted each other and introduced yourselves. Read the dialogue with me. Say your name in the blank spaces. 同学们好，我是李老师。老师好，我是。再见。您好，我是。You did a good job as you learned to greet people, introduce yourself, and say goodbye. In Chapter Two of our lessons, you learn to identify and introduce others, and greet people in different ways. The dialogue in Lesson Five utilizes the pronouns "ta" meaning he or she, and "ta men" meaning they or them. You also learned how to ask someone politely who they are by saying "ni shi," "you are." Practice saying these sentences from the dialogue with me. 你好，你是。我是李伟。他是白兰。他是林大虎。他们是同学。老师好。很好，同学们。One of the goals of each lesson is to give you ways to communicate and use Chinese every day. In lesson six, you learn to say "Good morning" and "See you tomorrow." Let's listen and watch Lin Da Hu and Li Wei use these phrases. Good morning, Li Wei. Good morning. Lin Da Hu, tomorrow. 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 Now turn to your practice partner and greet them by saying "ni zao." Then say "ming tian jian." Be sure to say each other's names. You may begin.
Great! You can use these phrases every day with your friends and family. In the next dialogue, in lesson seven, you learn the verb jiao. Jiao means what? Good. It means to be called. You used jiao and learned to say, my name is and his name is. Say these sentences with me. 我叫白兰. 他叫林大虎. My name is Bai Lan. His name is Lin Da Hu. In chapter three, our sentences and dialogues were concerned with calendar dates and numbers from zero to 100. In lesson nine, you learned to count to 31. You also learned the words for month, day or date, and birthday. You discovered the word da that makes pronouns and nouns possessive. You learn three new sentences. Say them with me. 明天是九月二十日. Tomorrow is September 20th. 明天是我的生日. Tomorrow is my birthday. Now say the next sentence with me and fill in the blanks with your birthday month and day numbers. 我的生日是 月日很好同学们 In lesson 10, you learn to identify people and ask about age. You learn that in Chinese grammar, the question word is replaced by the answer in the sentence structure. Say these sentences after me. 他是谁? 他是林老师。他几岁？他今年两岁。他的生日是几月几日？ You also learn to say a date the Chinese way. The year is set first, then the month, then the day. For example, say this date with me. 1776年7月4日 好极了! Our last dialogue in this group of lessons gave you many useful phrases, including how to say thanks, welcome someone, and talk about important numbers. Now, let's listen and watch the dialogue. 谁呀? 我是林大虎。欢迎，请进。谢谢。你是？我是您的学生，我的学生号码是三七一零五八。你的电话号码是？我的电话号码是五五零一二六。很好,明天见,林大虎。谢谢您老师,再见。Say these phrases after me. 谁呀? 欢迎,请进。谢谢。我是您的学生。我的学生号码是 你的电话号码是 我的电话号码是 很好同学们 you've learned a lot more interesting things are coming your way so listen to the following conversation see if you can understand what's being said 这是什么? 这是书 那是什么? 那是书包 这是什么? 你知道吗? What do you think the teacher was asking the student? Yes, 
he was asking her to identify and name some objects. He asked three questions. First, he asked, 这是什么? What is this? 这是什么? Then he asked, 那是什么? What is that? 那是什么? His last question was, 你知道吗? Do you know? 你知道吗? The items the student identified were a book, 书, and a school bag, 书包. She said, 这是书, this is a book, and 那是书包, that is a school bag. Let's study today's vocabulary. Use your video class worksheet for this lesson. Fill in the initials and tone marks of the words as you go along. 什么 is a question word that means what. It's set with the second and neutral tones. Listen, 什么, 什么, 什么. Now, repeat it after me, 什么, 什么, 什么. 这 means this. It has a fourth tone. Listen, 这, 这, 这. Say 这 after me. 这, 这, 这. 这 means this. The term 那 means that. 那 is set with the fourth tone. 那, 那. Na. Now say with me three times. Na. 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 What does na mean? Yes. Na means that. Look at the word shu. What does it mean? Hen hao. Shu means book. It's said with the first tone. Listen. Shu. Shu. Now say it after me. Shu, 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 shu bao, a school bag, is another object found at school. Both syllables are said with the first tone. Listen. Shu bao, shu bao, shu bao. Say shu bao after me three times. 书包,书包,书包. The word for pen or pencil is 笔. 笔 is set with the third tone. 笔, 笔, 笔. Say it with me three times. 笔, 笔. Be very good. Sometimes you'll be asked if you know something. The word 知道 means no. It's said with the first and the fourth tones. Listen, 知道, 知道, 知道. Now say it after me. 知道, 知道, 知道. Our last word in the list is a question word, ma. Ma is set with a neutral tone. Listen, ma, ma, ma. Now, say it with me three times, ma, ma, ma. You can form a yes or no question by adding ma to the end of the statement. We'll learn more about ma later. Our goal today is to use the question word 什么, meaning what, to identify objects we use at school. The question word 什么 appears at the end of the sentence. Let's say 这是什么, what is this? Listen, 这是什么, 这是什么, 这是什么. 
Now, say it after me. 这是什么? 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 好, 这是什么? What is this? 这是书? This is a book. The little word order for 这是什么 is this is what? The question word 什么 comes at the end of the sentence. In Chinese grammar, the question word is replaced by the answer in the sentence structure. The question is 这是什么? This is what? The answer is 这是书? This is a book. Let's say the answer to the question. Listen. 这是书? 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 Now, say it with me three times. 这是书? 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 This is a book. 这是什么? 这是书? Next, the teacher indicated a school bag and asked, What is that? 那是什么? Let's say, What is that? 那是什么? Listen, 那是什么? 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 Now, repeat it after me. 那是什么? 那是什么? 那是什么？好，那是什么？ What is that? 那是书包. That is a school bag. Let's say 那是书包. Listen. 那是书包. 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 Say 那是书包 after me three times. 那是书包. 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 那是什么? What is that? 那是书包. That is a school bag. The last sentence is do you know? 你知道吗? Listen. 你知道吗? 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 Now, say it after me three times. 你知道吗? 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 很好 All right, it's time to ask you 这是什么? What is this? And 那是什么? What is that? I want you to identify some items. When I ask you a question, say 这是 and name the item or 那是 and name the item. Make a complete statement. I will throw in a new item and ask, Do you know? 你知道吗? Here we go. 这是什么? What is this? 这是书? This is a book. 这是什么? What is this? 这是笔? This is a pen. 那是什么? What is that? 那是书包? That is a school bag. 那是什么? 那是书? That is a book. 这是什么? 你知道吗? Do you know? 好。这是毛笔. This is a writing brush. 毛笔. Say 毛笔 for me. 
，这是什么？这是书包。这是什么？这是笔。那是什么？你知道吗？那是尺。That is a ruler. 尺 ，say 尺 for me. 那是什么？那是书，这是什么？你知道吗？这是橡皮。This is an eraser. 橡皮 ，say 橡皮 for me. 好，那是什么？那是毛笔。那是什么？那是尺。这是什么？这是橡皮。好极了，同学们。I think you're going to have a lot of fun asking questions using this, that, and what. Now let's look at the characters for these words. Here is 这 Look for the parts. What is this structure? Excellent. It is compound. How many strokes do you think it takes to write "ch"? Seven is correct. Look at "na." It has parts on the left and the right. That makes it what? 对了 correct. It's compound. How many strokes make up "na"? 好 six is correct. 神 also has parts on the left and right. So the structure is what? Yes, compound. How many strokes do you see in 神 There are four strokes. Here is "ma." What type of structure do you see? It is a compound character. M has how many strokes? 好 it has three. Now you have four new characters to add to your knowledge of Chinese. 同学们 I think we've accomplished our goal today. You've learned to use the question word 什么 Meaning what? To ask two questions: 这是什么 What is this? And 那是什么 What is that? You also learn the question: 你知道吗 Do you know? You studied and pronounced the names of some objects used in school. 书 book. 书包 school bag. 笔 Pen or pencil, 毛笔 writing brush, 尺 ruler, and 橡皮 eraser. You also did well with the exercise where you identified some items found in school. You then added 这那神 and 么 to your knowledge of Chinese characters. As an extension activity for this lesson, how about a friendly competition? After our lesson is complete, I want you to divide into groups of three, and ask each other today's questions. Each student can take two school objects we've studied and ask, 这是什么 What is this? And 那是什么 What is that? Each student must ask and answer the two questions. The group that completes the questions in 30 seconds or less wins. 同学们 we've come to the end of today's lesson. Be sure to complete your worksheet and practice your new vocabulary and sentences. Master the tones in all the words. I'll see you again for our next lesson on the journey to China. 
中国之旅。And remember, learning never ends. 学无止境。再见。<音>